would you say, in your opinion, is the most talented member of the current squad? Uh, Shiv. Uh, care to elaborate? Um, he's got about six million runs in his career. <laughs> um, I don't think you need to say much more than that. Who's the real joker in the pack? Who's the real comedian amongst the boys? Um, Wayne is pretty funny. He likes his, um, his iPad app, so he'd always send him funny videos and stuff like that. So I'd say uh, probably the David Wayne right here. The guy that you know, gets the boys by the scruff of the neck and uh, gets them going. Gets them going. Uh, Tina's pretty good at that. I think me and Tina together are pretty good, because we, well, especially when we're playing together, we G each other on. So, yeah, with me and Tina, I reckon, get, get the boys going. Who's the most intelligent member of the squad? Intelligent member of the squad? Um, it's a difficult one, really. In terms of always nailing the crosswords, Dan Redfern, because he's... Uh, he seems to be able to do them just like that, but uh, I don't know, I'll go for uh, Wayne Madsen. But who's the worst driver amongst the boys? The worst driver? Who do you not want to be stuck behind in a... In a, in a, in a lot a of the lads would probably say me, <laughs> but I'm, I'm, there's nothing wrong with my driving. Um, I don't know, I'll probably have to say me then, because it seems whenever people are in the car they're always worried about my driving. So. Who's the guy that you want to see those nicks? carry into? Who's got the safest pair of hands in the cordon? In the cordon, so not, without, not with the gloves on then. In the cordon, um, Wes is pretty safe at, at first grab, like nice big hands, so generally if it's going to, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Who's the guy that's always running late for running late for things, missing team meetings, missing sessions? Who's the worst timekeeper amongst the legs? <laughs> Jess. <laughs> <laughs> the common answer. <laughs> yeah, definitely, you'll, you'll find that. <laughs> These guys are pretty creamed and primped, but who's the real vain guy in dressing room? Who takes the longest in front of the mirror after, after the shower? Benny Slats has got this nickname Rylan at the moment because of his hair and just I think the way he's going on about things. So maybe maybe, uh, maybe Benny Slats. Okay. The best trainer amongst the boys and conversely who's the worst? Um, I'm not sure about worst. Uh, I, I like to push myself quite hard in the gym. I know Tina does. And, uh, uh, but I'd probably say Jono. Jono's very keen in the gym and likes to keep his six pack uh, nice and flat, so he's, he's probably the toughest uh, trainer, I'd say. Favourite ground? Favourite ground? Um, actually, Derby, probably. Um, I do enjoy playing here. Um, done, done okay here, so yeah, I'd probably say Derby. Not, not normal Lords, because I've never really done very well. Fair <laughs> so. Plenty of wickets out there. Yeah. So, who's the toughest opponent you've come up against uh, this summer? Um, although he's not got a load of runs, I always find it difficult playing at Triscothic. And again this year, he's always, I've never got him out, so he's, he's always a, uh, one I've always wanted and I've always found it tough to bowl at him. And although, yeah, he's got, I think he's got a couple of 50s, he's not, you know, he's not got massive runs. I think the lads would probably say, uh, I didn't play the game, but Ponting, yeah. pretty impossible to bowl that, that game here. Yeah. Uh, what would you consider your most important innings for the club? My most important innings? Um, Probably last year against Hampshire, um, when I was not a watchman, I got um, I can't remember, 60 odd. But that, that felt pretty important last game. And favourite match? Um, favourite match? Time, time of the club? Uh, would have been last year against Kent at home when we when we won that game. It was pretty. After two days, we were pretty much behind the eight ball, and then we managed to pull it on out of the bag. I think that went a long way to winning us the. Uh, Just the last my earliest cricket in memory. Earliest cricket in memory would have been going to watch my dad play cricket in the Kent League and I, um, our, uh, our home groundsman cut me a little strip on the edge of the pitch or a bit away from the pitch where I could bowl that so I just was, was there most of the day bowling at stumps and okay. got him to thank the love. Yeah, give, give him a sort of <laughs> having a break every hour or so, watch a bit of cricket then going back to it so I'd probably say that. Top man. Cheers Tom. No worries.